Hi, I'm Mark with Arthur Ferranzarelli. And Jacob the carpet bagger? Whose channel is this? Mine or yours? I don't even know anymore. All right, this is the Average Me channel, and I just wanted you to say hi to Jacob the carpet bagger. Make sure you visit his channel too. In a previous video, we visited Canada's Prison Museum. In this video, we're going to look at some of the punishment or torture devices in that museum, as well as explore an abandoned women's prison. Yeah, I'll get you, you rotten copper. I'll get you, you hear me? And these were officially referred to as triangles. It's what the criminals were attached to and then they were flogged, whipped, or otherwise beaten. So this is called the strapping table. Imagine being strapped to this, blindfolded and beaten with a leather strap. First thing that's going to happen is they're going to lock up my hands and feet, and then they're going to put my head in this. So apparently they would lock them inside and the water would gush down on top of the man's head. I can tell you this is terrifying without even having the water begin to drip. And this is called the box. Find prisoners in here as punishment. I wouldn't do it again. So this is the outside of the prison museum and it was originally the home of the warden. And right behind it is the women's prison. So let's take a walk over there and look at the bad girls. So this housed the women, the female inmates. Let's see if we can get a closer look at some of these barred windows. Yeah, I don't suppose anybody's getting out or in of this place. So this is no longer a functioning prison, but you can see even the, um, I guess that's a vent up there. And even that has bars. I don't know how well you can see that. But even that has bars. I suppose over the years they figured out that inmates will climb through almost anything to gain their freedom. I can see some beds and some leftover junk in here. Um, I think with the reflection, you're probably not going to be able to see too much. But I can, I can see some things in this room. I'm seeing a mattress and a bunch of furniture. I'm seeing some debris on the floor. So apparently when they cleared out, they left a lot of junk in there. Um, I'm not breaking into a prison to see what they left behind. Can you imagine getting caught breaking into a prison, particularly in a foreign country? Yeah, it's not something that I'm ready to do. I have no idea what this is. 
but it doesn't look like a fun place to be. There's a little opening here. I don't know, what do you think it could be for? And here's a door. Oh look, there's still some junk and debris in here. I see a chair, it looks like there's some uh, emergency fire hose. Well, at least they're looking out for my well-being. Of course, I don't think there's going to be too much falling ice in July. So even the female prison is a pretty impressive structure. I don't know what moved them to build all of these prisons in one city, the city of Kingston, but it's an awful interesting thing to visit. Well, I don't think you're gonna to try to shinny down this drain pipe. Look at this razor wire, and trust me, it's real, and it's still very, very sharp. I kind of suspect I'm not supposed to be back here, but way up there you can see all of these barred windows. These are old copper pipes. Um, the drain pipes are just old copper and they still all have that razor wire wrapped around them. This is absolutely incredible. I'm surprised they can even have that stuff. It seems like it would be so dangerous, but like I said, I think I'm in an area I'm not supposed to be. And this goes up to the prison for women. It's really nothing but a mess right now. That looks like the intercom, maybe a um, security window with a hole in it. This is obviously the older portion of the prison. And as we move across, we come to the newer portion. But of course, it's all closed now. And in the distance, you can see the warden's home, the warden's mansion. All built by prison inmate labor. What's this? A torn screen, an open window? What's inside? Oh my goodness. It smells very, very musty. I had to be really careful. I was afraid when I put that in there, I was gonna drop my phone. And if I dropped it in there, I'd never get it back. Let's see what's back here. Oh my goodness. What is it? More razor wire. Oh, I saw some of those spiky things on the ground on the other side. I kind of suspect those are for birds. A lot of copper. I'm surprised people haven't come and stolen that. That's worth a lot of money.
And I would imagine that this is the walk that many wardens have taken on their way to work each morning. And once more, we take a look at the Warden's Mansion. And of course, the inmates had a bigger place. I hope you enjoyed my visit to an abandoned prison in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. I'd like to thank Jacob the Carpetbagger. And please, if you enjoy some of these visits, subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up. I'm Mark on the Average Me Channel.